Hello guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this video has been requested by one of my subscriber. As you can see, he has written in the chat to upload XS 2.10, the solutions. And since he has an exam, so I thought I want my subscriber to do good in exam. Anyways, let's begin. So I hope you do well, buddy, in your exam tomorrow. All the best and I hope you understand whatever I explain and in case in future if you have any questions like this uh, please do let me know early if you have a test or if you want me to solve anything do let me know early because uh, I myself is an electrical power engineering student so I need to take out time but anyways <laughs> let's get started Okay, so before I start this exercise, I expect you to know since I haven't done this chapter elaborately in other places, I mean the, exis the explanations and all, I'll just give you two or three small tips. Um, let's say for example, um, I have uh, 3 to the power of x is equals to 4. Okay, so this 4, I hope you know that there is an invisible one. Okay, or let's say, for example, not this, 3 to the power x is equal to 3. So what do we know about the power of 3? So the power of 3 here is 1. So since the bases are equal, we can write, we can equate the powers x is equal to 1. This is one tip. And the other tip I have is like, let's say we have 1 over x. Okay, so we can write x to the power negative 1. I hope you know this. Or let's example if we have 3 over 4x okay so we can write 3 times 2 or, or 3 by 4 x to the power negative 1 that means whatever is in the denominator the variable uh, sorry this is constant yeah whatever the constant is there in the denominator when we bring it up it has a negative power now I can give you another example We'll have a couple of more examples in question two for question two and three, but this is just a heads up. Let's say we have x to the power of one over x to the power of three. So we can write it as x to the power of negative three. So this this thing, whenever now it is in the denominator, whenever we bring it on the top, it the power becomes negative. So I hope this one is clear with you. This will help you in your uh, in, in the future questions. Okay, so let's begin. Question A. It says um, 8 to the power of 1 over 3. Okay, so in order to solve this, uh, there are a lot of ways to solve. I'm not sure how your teacher has taught in the school, but the way I prefer or the easy one is either you can go directly. There are two ways. You can go, sorry, you can go directly. Okay. Uh, one is you can, as you know, just uh, 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 8. You can either go this way or you can do this trick. That is, you put 8 here and you just find a number by which you can divide 8 with. So let's try with 2. So we can divide 8 with 2. So 2 4 are 8. Again, we have 2. 2 2 are 4. Again, we have 2. 2 1 are 2. So we won't stop till we get the final answer as 1. Whenever the answer is 1, then we know that it's done. So we have 2, 2, 2. So we can write it in this way. 2 times 2 times 2. And that is 8. And we write the power. So we can have 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 cube. 1 over 3. And since this bracket, I hope you know, this bracket indicates multiplication. So 2 times 2, 3 times 1 over 3. So 3 1s are 3, 3 1s are 3, so 3 and 3 can't, can't, gets cancelled, answer is 2. Okay. Question B, we have 32 1 over 5. Okay, so here also we can do the same thing. 32, we can use the calculator. So 32 divided by 2, we have 16. So we write 32 divided by 2, we have 16. And 2 8 is 16. 
two fours are eight, two twos are four, and two ones are two. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we can write two to the power five, which two to the power five is equal to thirty two. So we we write two to the power five. Uh, that from the next question onward, I'll just do it directly. So I hope you understand by these two steps. 2 to the power 5, to the power 1, we just copy the same question, okay? 2 to the power 5 and then to the power 1 over 5, that power. Then write 2, 5 times 2, 1 over 5. We remove the brackets, and since these brackets also means multiplication, so we remove, since we remove the brackets, we get 5 times 1 over 5. So we cancel 5, we cancel 5, 1, 1. So we have the answer as 2. Okay. Then we have C. C is 8, 4 over 3. So we can do the same thing. 8, 2, 1, 2. Oh, sorry, 2, 4, so 8. We have 2 again. 2, 2, so 4. We have 2 again. 2, 1, so 2. So it's 2 cubed, and we write the power 4 over 3. Now we remove the brackets, 3 times 4 over 3. So we cancel 3, we cancel 3, we have uh, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3. So we have 2 over 4, which is 16. So you can check using the calculator. Two over 4 is equal to 16. Okay. All right. We have question D. It's 2, 1, 6, 2 to the power, power is 2 to the power 3. So again, we do the same thing. 2, 1, 6. We divide. So we get 108. We divide again. We get 54. We divide again, we get 27, and we can divide and try to use prime numbers for a division because if you use 4, then again you have to make another step. So always try your best to use prime numbers to do the multiplication. So 3, we have 3, 9, 7, 8, 7. We have another 3, 3, 3, 7, 9. We have another 3, 3, 1, 7, 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, so 2 times 2, 3. Multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 3 times 2, 3 to the power of 2 over 3. So since it's multiplied, we can write it in this way as well. 2 to the power 3, we just separate it so that it's easy for you. 2 over 3, again we separate it. 3 cube, 3 cube, again 2 over 3. So we can write we remove the brackets now 3 times to 2 over 3 multiplied by 3 cube times to 2 over 3 so here we cancel 3 and 3 here we cancel 3 and 3 so we have we are left with 2 square times to 3 square so 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 is equals to 36 that's it okay we are done with D Moving to the next question is 256. Okay. <clears throat> 256 to the power 0 0.75. So this is in decimal form. So it's a bit difficult if you write it in this form. So let's make it easier first. So our first step. Uh, our first task whenever we get a question is first we have to simplify the question. The more simplify you make the question, the more easier it is to solve. So just take out the calculator. So write 0 0.75. You get 3 over 4. So 256, 3 over 4. So now we start dividing again. 256 divided by 2. We get 128. Again, we divide it by 2, we get 64. Again, we divide it by 2, we get 32. We won't stop till we get 1 as the answer. So we divide it by 2 again. We get 16. We divide it by 2 again. We get uh, 2 lines are 16. Oh, sorry, 
two eight six six nine seven. My bad. Check it. Yeah. Okay, again. Oh, yeah. Write that again. Two eight six sixteen. We divide it by two again. We get two four so eight. We divide by two. We get two to step four. We divide by two again. We get one. So we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we can write two to the power of eight is equals to three over four. Removing the brackets, multiply three by four. We can write four ones are four, four twos are eight. I hope you understand this multiplication. So whatever the, the, uh, there is an invisible one, if you are not clarified with, if you if you don't find it easy to do the direct multiplication. So now I hope it's clear for ones are four, four twos are eight. Uh, just another highlighting I want to do that is in case if you have for, for, for this part In case if you have let, let's say 8 plus 3 by 4 Just note that you cannot do this multiplication. You cannot divide it in this because of the addition sign You can only multiply it diagonally in this way only when we have a multiplication sign in between Please do take note of this. Do not uh, get wrong answers. Usually, even I used to do this mistake when I was uh, in your standard. Okay. So we have, yeah, four ones are four, four twos are eight. So we have two to the power of two into three is six. Two to the power of six is equals to sixty-four. Just check with the calculator. Two to the power of six is equals to sixty-four. There we have it. Okay, so that's it. We're done with question one. Let's move to question two. Okay, I hope you can see it. All right, let's go. Question two A. It says x to the power 1 over 3, x to the power 1 over 3 times 2, x to the power 1 over 3. Okay. So please note that whenever we have well, these two constants are being multiplied, and they both are the same. So let's say if we have x and x, yes, fine. If we have x and y, we cannot do anything with that. So since they have the same base, I'm just going to use the word base, since, the same, since they have the same base, we can, and it is multiplied, we can add their powers, okay? So if we have, uh, just to, okay, I'll make it more clear, x times, let's say x square into x to the power 4. So you see both of them has the same base, that's checkpoint 1, and then they're being multiplied, that's check 2, so that means we can add their powers. So x to the power 2 plus 4. We write 2 plus 4 so we have x to the power 6 okay but if we have x squared plus x to the power 3 in this case no we cannot add them up because we are adding here so please do take care of that just the questions exam questions might be tricky so we have x 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 so the answer is x 2 over 3 okay then we have b mm, x to the power half multiplied by x to the power 2 3 so similarly the base are same so we add the powers so x to the power half plus 2 by 3 so we have x to the power of 7 by 6 you can just use the calculator to add this up c Okay, here is the tricky part. See, we have x to the power 4 and x to the power 10 uh, to the power of half. Okay, in this part, what we are going to do is this half is multiplied with this whole term inside. So this means this half is multiplied with this as well as with the numerator as well as the denominator. So we are going to write, uh, we are going to simplify it x to the power 4 to the power half and then x to the power 10 to the power half again 
So now we can write x, we remove the brackets just like we did in the previous question. x to the power of 4 times 2 half and we have x to the power 10 times 2 half. So we divide 2 once a 2, 2 to the 4, 2 once a 2, 2 fives a 10. So we are going to have x to the power of 2 divided by, because 2, 2 into 1 is 2 and 5 into 1 is 5, so x to the power of 5. Okay, and this is the answer, but you are since they have asked you to simplify you and it is able we can, we are able to simplify it further now you can see x to, x square and x to the power of 5 so when we have the formula that when it's if it is multiplied if multiplied we add we add the powers we add powers but if divided be subtract okay maybe when I will explain the entire chapter if you want you can refer to the video again so it will become more clear so since so you can see these two terms are being divided so we have to and their bases are the same yes the bases should be same in order to multiply or in order to add or subtract the powers you have to make sure the bases are same and it is only possible when it is multiplied or divided so since it's divided so we have to subtract so x to the power 2 minus 5 so we are gonna have x to the power negative 3 we can leave the answer like this or in case it, it depends on how your teacher wants or how your examiner wants so you can either leave the answer in this way or you can write it in x to the power 1 by x over 3 because it's negative so as I've told you at the beginning of the uh, video x to the power negative 3 if it is in this way we can write it in if it is 1 by x over 3 we can write it in this way as well as this way either ways so if you want to present it like this so the power becomes negative if you want to present it in this way the power remains like this so i hope this question is clear now we move to question d Okay. We are done with A, B, C. Now coming to D. D we have x to the power 6, y square, and half. So you see, the numerator and denominator are not the same. So first we simplify the question. How do you do that? x to the power 6 to the power half divided by y square to the power half. So we can write x to the power 6 times to removing the bracket, 6 times to half divided by y square into 1 over 2. So 2 once are 2, 2 3 is 6. We have x to the power 3 into 1 is 3, so x to the power 3. And here we have cancel this, 2 once are 2, 2 once are 2, so we have y. So our answer is x cube y you can write it in this way or you can write it x cube y to the power negative one either one is correct okay i hope you understand this why whenever we bring y to the y to the top the power becomes you can see it's just y but there is a positive one down that's a so we don't write the power one usually so when you when you take it to the top the power becomes negative Okay, we have e, x to the power 6 over 7, x to the power 6 over 7 divided by uh, x to the power 2 over 7. Okay, for this question, it's simple. Uh, you can see the bases are the same, so we simply subtract the powers. So x to the power 6 by 7 minus x to the power 2 over 7 with, sorry, my bad. x to the power 6 over 7 minus see, the powers will be only subtracted sorry 6 over 7 divided by 2 over 7 so we can get x to the power of 4 by 7 
just do the subtraction using the calculator. 6 over 7. 6 over 7 divided by... Uh, sorry, not divided. 6 over 7 minus 2 over 7. 2 over 7. Yeah, we have 4 by 7. Okay, now we have E is done. We have F. F is 7 by 8 x to the power half divided by 1 over 2 x to the power negative 3 by 2. Okay, so first we can write uh, this question in an easy way. 7 by 8, simplify the question, x to the power half we put it in this form 1 by 2 x to the power negative 3 by 2 so in this question we have to solve two things first uh, you cannot leave the numbers in this way like 7 over 8 divided by 1 over 2 so in order to simplify this part first we'll simplify this section so that we can write 7 over 8 you see this thing is being divided both these terms are being divided so when we want to multiply it, what we will do with this term is we will change their positions. Okay. I'm going to use a different color. Yeah. We are going to change their position when it's getting multiplied. So the first term remains the same. The second term, you put a multiplication sign, the second term becomes 2 over 1 instead of 1 over 2. Okay. So we are also anything. I'm, I'm going to give you another example. We have uh, 3 over 4 divided by 7 over 6. Example. So we can write it as 3 over 4 times 2. This thing goes up. This thing comes down. So we can we have 6 over 7. That is how you have to simplify this sort of questions. So you write the first term as it is, copy the first term as it is, the second term you just uh, change the position, your numerator becomes denominator, denominator becomes numerator, and then you multiply. You will get an easy answer, 6, 3, 7, 18, and 7, 4, 7, 28. Yeah, you can say, just simplify it. Okay, so we are done with this. Now we have to solve this. This one is simple again. X, since these things are divided, both of these are divided, so we ha we can we have to subtract their powers. So half minus we have minus three by two minus three by two. Okay, so seven two size is fourteen. We have eight, and then we have x x. Um, we have we write half. As you know, minus into my minus, it's the bottomless rule. Yeah, I guess, yes. Negative into negative, you will get a positive. So you have to write positive 3 over 2. Why negative into negative? Because as I said, multiplication means, uh, a bracket means multiplication. So I'll just still, I'll still write the formula for you. So plus and plus, plus and plus, you get a plus plus and minus uh, sorry plus plus and minus you get a plus or a minus depending on the uh, bigger if if let's say this is positive three this is uh, negative one so you'll get the answer positive but in case if you have plus one and negative five you'll get the answer in negative okay if we have negative multiplied by a negative number we'll get a positive sign if we have a negative number multiplied by a positive or vice versa we will get negative if we have positive number multiply multiplied by a positive number we'll have positive so just take care of this this thing okay all right <clears throat> So we will just add this. Uh, we have to simplify this one first. So we can divide both these terms by 2. So we can have 2 4 the 8 and 2 7 the 14. So we will add 7 over 4 and x half plus 2 by 3 by 2. We 
we will have half plus 3 by 2 is the square these two half plus 3 by 2 if we add this two we'll get 2 so this is the answer okay next we have question G okay G is 2x 2 over 3 divided by x 8 over 3 so we can write uh, first 2 multiplied by uh, since the x, x terms they are being divided so their parts are gonna be subtract uh, subtracted so we write x 2 by 3 minus 8 by 3 so we will have 2 when you subtract this we are going to get 2x to the power negative 2 so you can either leave the answer like this or you can do this way the standard form since it's x to the power negative 2 so it becomes it goes to the denominator and it becomes x to the power positive 2 that's it we have the h uh, what is the question h Okay, h we have 9 x 1 over 3 divided by 12 x 4 by 3 so first thing we can do is simplify these two numbers that is 9 by 12 just let's write it separately 9 by 12 into x 1 by 3 x 4 by 3 simplify I mean you made the question simple now we multiply them so you see both these numbers can be divided by 3 so 3 3 is a 9 and 3 4 is a 12 so we'll have 3 by 4 times 2 uh, this day both their bases are same they're being divided so we we can subtract their powers so we will write x 1 by 3 minus 4 over 3 so we have 3 by 4 we'll just simply subtract them 3 by 4 into x x to the power negative 1 so you can leave this answer like that or you can write 3 by 4 x because the power is negative 1 so when it comes to the denominator you don't have to write the power so it becomes positive that's why you don't have to write the power okay g h we have i i we have half x to the power half divided by 2 x squared Make the question simple write half x to the power half divided by 2x square so you know there is an invisible one here we can write 2 once 2 divided by 1 is 2 so let's make it simple half times 2 I'll take another step so first we separate half divided by 2 over 1 into so it's easy for you to solve the questions in the exam x square where well, once you become an expert you can skip this step so we do this half times 2 it's 2 over 1 so we change the the position gets changed so it becomes 1 over 2 1 over 2 times 2x we since it's divided so we subtract our powers half minus 2 so we have 1 over 4 x negative 3 by 2 why negative 3 by 2 you say it's half and uh, the formula i gave you have to see which number is greater so uh, 2 is bigger than half and we have to take the sign as well so we have negative 3 by 2 you can leave the answer like that or you can write 1 over 4 x 3 by 2 power comes to the denominator power becomes positive power goes to the numerator power becomes positive i mean the, the, the term okay we have j negative half x to the power 3 by 4 divided by negative 2 x to the power negative 1 by 4 let's make the question simple or separate them 
so we have negative half divided by negative 2 just write the one down and x to the power 3 by 4 divided by x to the power negative 1 by 4 so we can write negative half times 2 we change the place times 2 negative 1 over 2 multiplied by x3 over 4 so since this is ne okay, negative we have to subtract negative negative 1 over 4 so this one negative and negative becomes positive we cancel them so we have 1 over 4 and then we have x 3 over 4 plus because negative and negative becomes positive so we put a part positive 1 over 4 so we have 1 by 4 x to the power x to the power of 1 yeah no need to write the one okay question k 3 by 4 x to the power half divided by half x to the power negative 1 over 4 so you separate the first part 3 by 4 divided by 1 by 2 and then we write the other half x to the power half divided by x to the power negative 1 over 4 so 3 by 4 multiplied by change places 2 by 1 into x half it's divided so we subtract the powers minus 1 over 4 so 3 to so 6 divided by 4 and we have x half plus negative and negative becomes positive 1 over 4 so the final answer is 3 over 2 we cancel we can divide uh, 4 by 2 2 to the 4 2 3 to 6 so we have 3 by 2 x to the power 3 over 4 we have l negative 1 by 4 4 x to the power 3 by 4 and divided by negative 2 x to the power negative 1 by 4 so first we write it in a simple form negative 1 by 4 x to the power 3 by 4 divided by negative 2 x to the power negative 1 by 4 okay and then we separate them negative 1 by 4 divided by 2 sorry negative 2 we put a 1 down and then x 3 by 4 x 3 by negative 1 by 4 so we write negative 1 by 4 we just change places into negative 1 by 2 multiplied by x 3 by 4 minus minus 1 by 4 this negative and negative gets cancelled because negative into negative field becomes positive so we have 1 by 8 and uh, when we add this to x3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 we'll have 1 by 8 into x over 1 so if we multiply them again x into x into x into 1 is x divided by 8 that's all we are done with question two moving on to question three okay we have question three here question three a we have 2x is equals to 64 so here you have to do the similar thing as we have done in question one uh, you can do it in this way 64 by 2 you can divide 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 till you get out get a one okay i'm gonna show one so 64 divided by 2 we have 32 again we divide by 2 we get a 16 
again we divide it by 2 we have 8 again we divide by 2 we have 4 again we divide by 2 we have 2 again we divide by 2 we have 1 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can write 2x is equals to 2 to the power of 6 so when we have the bases the same that means we can equate the powers so hence x is equals to 6 that's all moving to question b we have 196x is equals to 14 okay so when you encounter numbers like this uh, you first you have to see that if we can divide uh, 196 by 14 so 14 uh, times the 14 divided by 196 14 ones are 14 subtract we get a 5 and we bring 6 down 56 I think uh, 14 times 3 14 times 4 is 56 yes 14 times 4 is equals to 56 so we get a 0 so yes 196 can be divi divided by 14 so we can check with the calculator what about 14 square 14 times 14 square you can say it 14 times 14 so yes 14 square gives us 196 so we can write 14 square to the power of x is equals to 14 and we have an invisible power of 1 here so 14 and we multiply this too since it's inside and outside the brackets we can multiply so 2 times 2x is 2x is equals to 14 to the power of 1 and for this question our target is that we have to make the same base and then we equate the power so 2x is equals to 1 x is equals to 2x equals to 1 so we can we can do this 2 into x is equals to 1 just to explain x is equals to so you just cover up x this thing that x is not there so you copy whatever is here first on top and then whatever else is there with the x that will be divided okay so example we have 5x equals to 9 so we have to find the value of x so x is equals to we write 9 okay and the number uh, whichever is with x we have to divide it this side it's multiplied just remember uh, something that is multiplied on the left hand side of the bracket or the right hand side of the bracket whenever we take it to the other side of the equals to sign it becomes divided divided so, so this is 5 into x is equals to 9 or 5 multiplied by x equals to 9 so when you want to take this 5 to the other side it because it gets divided 9 divided by 5 I hope you know this okay So we have question C. C is uh, x to the power of x to the power one over five. One by five is equals to seven. Okay, how do we do this? We can uh, multiply. Just we have to figure out a way by which we can make this power one because simply like this we cannot solve the answer. There is one way you can just put the put the five on the other side and that's quite difficult so i'm going to explain you in the easy way so we are going to write x to the power one by five and then what we can do is we can multiply both the terms that means the left hand side and the right hand side with five okay so we multiply this by five the and we multiply is equals to seven to the power one we multiply that with as five as well so we can cancel 5 on f5, 5 on f5. So we have x to the power 1 is equals to 7 to the power of 5. Hence, x equals to 7 to the power 5 will give you 16807. Now we have question D. x minus 1. Uh, 3 by 4 is equals to 64 so first we have to uh, see how can we make it simple so in order to do that we can we have to make this the, the, this entire thing this one's power to 1 
because when we make any terms power to one it becomes easy to simplify so we have we can do x minus one since it's three by four so just say three by four we multiply with four by three so three ones are three three ones are three four ones are four four ones are four so we can write three by four into four by three and 64 also since we have to multiply both the sides with the same power so 64 to the power 4 by 3 there are some other ways also to do it but i prefer this way if you have any other methods you can use that as well no problem so we cancel this becomes x minus 1 to the power of 1 and this becomes 64 to the power of 4 by 3 becomes 256 so we can write x minus 1 equals to 256 and uh, this is getting subtracted here when we take this to the other side it will become added so x is equals to 256 plus 1 x equals to 257 we have e 3x is equals to 81 so you can check this one with like in this way so we divide you get you get the answer so we can find that 3 to the power 4 is equals to 81 so we apply the same thing here 3 to the power x is equals to 3 to the power 4 so the bases are same the power gets equated so x is equals to 4 we have f we have 4 to the power x is equals to 256 so you can do this one or you can use the calculator to find it out so we can have 4 to the power 4 is equals to 200 we just divide because why did we why did you use 4 instead of 2 because we have a 4 so the easiest way to check this is that if we can divide this number by 4 and since it's possible so we are going to go by 4 so 4 to the power x is equals to 4 to the power 4 so basis matches so this one is equals to this x equals to 4 we have g g is 2 to the power negative x is equals to 1 by 64 so first we write it 2 to the power negative x is equals to 1 by 2 to the power of 6 so there is two ways that you can transfer this to look in this form or you can transfer this to look in this form so the easiest way is to transfer this one so let's not mess up with the term that holds x so we write the same thing 2 to the power minus x is equals to as i told you whenever we bring it up it becomes the the power changes so if it is negative it becomes positive if it is positive it becomes negative So we have 2 to the power negative 6 so we write negative x is equals to negative 6 so x is equals to we multiply this by negative 1 or you can just cancel it out as you wish so if you multiply both sides by negative 1 we have x equals to 6 okay we finished with g moving into question h h we have 3x minus 1 is equals to 81 so as we know we check it again with 81 we know 3 to the power 4 is equals to 81 so 3 to the power x minus 1 is equals to 3 to the power 4 so the bases are the same so we equate the powers so x minus 1 is equals to 4 x equals to 4 plus 1 x equals to 5 h we have question i 9 to the power negative x is equals to 1 by 81 similarly we don't mess with the term of x so we have 1 by 9 square is 81 so we bring it to the numerator so 9 to the power negative x is equals to 9 to the power negative 2 this power comes up so it becomes negative so the basis matches so we just equate the power please don't take note that you have to take as uh, with the sim sign as well so negative x is equals to negative 2 
so you can multiply this one with negative 1 or you can just cancel it negative into negative is positive so we have x equals to 2 you just simply say yeah multiply this one by negative 1 so when you multiply negative 1 into x into negative x becomes a positive x negative 1 into negative 2 becomes a positive 2 we have k wait sorry j is missing sorry sorry we have j three times negative x is equals to 81 so we have done another question that 3 to the power 4 is equals to 81 so 3 to the power negative x is equals to 3 to the power 4 so base matches power equates to negative x equals to 4 so you know we cannot leave negative x like that so we just multiply both the side with again negative 1 so negative 1 into negative x becomes a positive x 4 into negative 1 becomes a negative 4 Okay, moving to question K. Okay, K, we have a 64x equals to 2. So you can use this format to, to find the answers, but as we know, 2 to the power 6, or you can use the calculator test, 2 to the power 6 equals to 64. So we write 2 to the power of 6 to the power of x is equals to 2. So this 2 we can multiply because it's inside the bracket. So 2 to the power 6 x is equals to 2. And we know. 2 to the power 1 is also equals to 2. It's, that's a hidden power. So we write 6x. The base is match. So these things we can equate. The powers we can equate. 6x is equals to 1. x equals to 1 over 6. This is being multiplied on this side. When you take 6 to the other side, it gets divided. We have L. 16x is equals to 8. So we know 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16. And we know 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. Let's solve. Uh, 2 to the power 4 to the power x. This is just working. OK. 2 to the power 4 to the power x is equal to 2 to the power 3. So we can multiply these two terms. to 4 into x is 4x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. So basis match, we equate the powers. 4x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 over 4 gets 4 is multiplied. When we take it to the other side, it gets divided. 3 over 4. And to the finally to the last question. M. 4 to the power negative x is equals to 1 by 64. So 4 to the power negative x divided by 1 by, let's see, uh, 4 to the power 3 is the calculator. 4 to the power of 3 is 64. So we have 4 to the power 3. So we're, if we want to match both the sides, 4 to the power negative x is equals to 4 to the power negative 3. Why negative 3? Again, I'm saying when we take from denominator to the numerator, the power becomes negative. So we have uh, both the bases are the same. So we can equate the power. We take with the sign negative x is equals to negative 3. Multiply it with negative 1. Negative, negative 1 into negative x gives us a positive x. Negative 3 into negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 gives us a positive 3. 3 times 2 negative 1, yes. So that's all. Thank you for watching and uh, best of luck for your exam tomorrow. Have a nice day.